Hello and welcome everyone. I am Linda Israel and thank you so very much for being here at my live stream on YouTube. I go live every Monday at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time unless I'm on vacation or something else comes up but generally I'm live or I have a premiere video that you can come and watch. If you're watching this as a replay after the live stream has ended and you're on a computer, you can look for the little gear at the bottom of the screen and change the speed. If you're on a mobile device, generally the little three little dots at the top, you can use those to change the playback speed to get through a little faster because generally my live streams last around two to two and a half hours. I want to thank Robin for being my moderator and administrator and note taker throughout the live stream. She is generally my one uh, right hand woman, if you will, and I am so thankful to have her. She also is an administrator of the Friendly Junk Journal People Facebook group. Occasionally, if she's not available, one of the other administrators will come over and help me or a friend will help me moderate the video today. If you have questions, please feel free to put those in all caps and I'll do my best to answer those questions. If I don't see it, please ask again. Or if you know the answer to somebody's question, please answer it. Hey, if you have a YouTube channel, please feel free to share with us by saying, hey, I have a YouTube channel and this is what I do on it. You won't be able to share a link, but you can at least talk about your YouTube channel. Let's keep the chat upbeat, friendly, and helpful. If you are having a great day, let us know. But honestly, we don't want the negative what is going on in the world right now because we are here to escape that, to be inspired, to be friendly, and have some fun. During the live stream, you have an opportunity to earn junk bucks. You can type exclamation point bucks to see how many that you have once Junkie Joe is up, because this is preliminary and I've pre-recorded this. Once you have 2,000 junk bucks, you can redeem those by typing a ward and you can get a $10 off coupon to my shop. How do you earn junk bucks? Just by being here, chatting with us. So make sure that you speak up in the chat so that Junkie Joe registers that you're here and by playing the in chat games and then also whenever you make donations. Occasionally I have raffles. In fact, right now there should be Junkie Joe coming up. You can type exclamation point raffle just as that says and you can enter the raffle to win 200 junk bucks. If you make a donation during my live stream, do go over to my website, lindaisrael.com. You can see the name scrolling across the bottom here and create a user account. Once you've created a user account on my website, make sure that you use the contact me form and say, hey, my name is on YouTube and I donated. And then I can get you added to the YouTube donator membership on my website. What does that do? Well, a member of my website in the YouTube donator membership gets 5% off orders in my shop, gets several digital downloads for free, and during the live stream when you donate, you get a chance to win the journal that I raffle off at the very end. Throughout the live stream, I will have different raffles giving away prizes. If you will type exclamation point raffle when you see those come up, then you can have a chance to win those items. We're going to get started here in just a moment. Thank you so much for being here today. When the video is over, come back and leave a comment. Tell me what you liked about today's video or if you have questions and you're watching this as a replay, use that comment section down below. Also, look in the description box to links to the Friendly Junk Journal paper, People Facebook group, as well as by Linda Israel, my Instagram, Twitter, my website, and generally I try to update the products that I use, and those links are in the description box as well. All right, well, let's get started. Hello? Wait. Might help I hit the right button. Hello? Can y'all hear me? Are you there? Hello, hello, hello? <laughs> ah. Oh, 
Oh, give me your messages, huh? <laughs> All right, can y'all hear me okay? Are you there? <laughs> Want to make sure. I've got a new lapel mic, so I'm trying out something different. So I hope you can hear me today. I hope you're well. My hair got flat. That's sad. <laughs> How is everybody? I hope you're well. hope you're having a great day. I hope that you had a great week. I had a very busy week myself. But here I am. We're gonna we're gonna do this. I have no idea what we're gonna do, but we're gonna do this. <laughs> All right. Well, let's see. Um, hello. Oh yeah. Did I get the Did I get the giveaway? Yes, I did get the giveaway going. Yes, I can hear. Yay! <laughs> I hope it sounds a little better. I bought a inexpensive uh, lapel mic. You probably can't see it, but it's right there. Uh, so I'm trying out something different so that when I move away from the camera, you can still hear me is my hope. <laughs> All right. So last week we made some embellishments and I showed y'all doing some stenciling. We'll finish these pages here. I made these little embellishments here. I ended up gluing them to a paper sack that I trimmed down. And then I decided to glue them down kind of as a tuck spot. So there's a place here that we can stick something in there. I use the, I think this is called spinning flowers stencil on here with the blueprint sketch distress oxide ink. These are some stickers. These are some images from Norella. I had some scrapbook paper, fabric. These are rubber stamped words that I have some lace on here. On this side, I did some more of that stenciling. This is from Norella's kit, the blue bonnets. This as well as focus on the good is from her kit. I had a scrap piece of scrapbook paper. Thank you so much, Ada. And I stamped on it and added one of Norella's images, some of my words and another little scrap. On this pocket, I added a little bit of some lace and some trim. And then of course, since we were adding bling, to several elements last week, I decided to add some bling on here. So I got those made. I've got some other things set aside, but I haven't really planned out what I'm going to do to this, uh, I call them uh, composition notebook papers. Oh, uh, thank you so much, April. I goofed up because my butterflies are kind of going in the same direction. I meant to tilt them. I got some new nail decals, and when I went to put this one down, I was like, okay, I'm going to put it, and then it went, poop, and it stuck, and I was like, no, 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 so I went to lift it up, and it tore, so I was like, well, darn, so I stuck it down the way it was, <laughs> but I did my nails myself, and I have a, a nail kit that I got off of Amazon, and my fingers are dirty because I've been playing all day, and I put down fake nails on top of my nails because my nails break very easily. And then I paint them with gel polishes. So these are gel nails with gel polish. And I just had some fun, just kind of add some sparkles. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So last week we used one of the stencils from a stencil club to go around and not go around, but make a stencil pattern here. And I'm trying to decide what do I want to put on these pages. My idea was, oh, and I need to go get something off the printer. I just remembered. Dang it. I wish I had a helper here with me because now I got to disconnect and go get that. So y'all remind me at the end when I need the covers. <laughs> I hope they printed. We'll see. <clears throat> I've got a few fussy cut elements here laid out. Maybe we'll use a couple of those. I don't know. I, I'm trying to decide. So maybe what we should do, let's make some page tabs to go on here. I think that would be good and give us something to denote what's on this page, right? So I need some paper. I've got paper everywhere. It's driving me crazy. <laughs> I pulled out some papers with the intention of okay well I can use that and I can use this and after a little while I started to realize I've got so much paper out it's not even funny oh I just saw that 
In fact, I, I've now I'm going through this pile and I have more paper than I thought I had. All right, so I've got these really dark blue pieces of paper and I think if I did it this way, I might be able to get two out of there. If not, I can flip it over and get it side by side. So I've got this old, old, old McGill punch. If you find these punches online or at a yard sale or anything like that, you might snatch them up because they are very hard to come by now. <laughs> Hercules can do it. <laughs> I'll say, Hercules, go in there and get that for me. He'll be like, what are you talking about? I don't have thumbs. <laughs> I don't have thumbs, man. <laughs> All right, so I'm just going to put my acrylic block on here so I can push this. All right. And again, I'm not sure if there's enough. Oh, there might be. If I hold my mouth just right. Okay, we got two page tabs. You know what? Let's see if I can get four. We'll put some on both sides. All right, so do we want these to be actual page tabs? that you can write on and do you have to write on both sides that's what my question is I think I'm just gonna toss this I may take this middle piece out in case I find something that I want to use on it so what I'm gonna do first is take these page tabs now if you don't have page tabs there are several digital downloads that you can get some of them are free you could get one of those and then cut it out and then trace it onto other papers so don't think that you have to have these there are also techniques and tutorials on using an envelope punch board so if you happen to have one of those you can make your own little tabs if you want hey cricket hey giovanna morgan robin ashley margie giovanna of course who else did i see in there ada Thank y'all so much for being here today. I hope y'all had a great week. Did you did you do something fun? What did y'all do this past week? All right, so I'm going to do those. I'm going to add some distress inks around the edges while I contemplate. Yes, yes, yes. Um, Morgan, if you know which kit you would like, send me a message. You can email me or use my website. I haven't had a chance to sit down to email you. I have been working almost every night till 7, 7.30 at night. Then we come home and we eat dinner. Then we clean up dinner. And then we crash. <laughs> but yes, if you'll let me know which one you would like to have, I will get that all ready for you and sent out to you. But I've been busy. Um, Henry is uh, staying really busy at our embroidery slash print shop. So I've been working up there for the past few weeks. So it's been a little crazy. Yay! Yeah, or if you say here, as Robin just said, you can... Uh, oh my goodness, I'm going to have problems I can already see. All right, so I need a clippy of some kind. Oh, I know what I can use. I can use a paper clip. Thank you, Margie. Oh, you're so sweet, Margie. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So my cable for my microphone is 12 feet long. And so I wrapped it up and put a Velcro on it, but I was just now tripping over it. <laughs> All right, so I've got this piece. Do you want it just to be fun fabric? Let's just do some stuff with that first. So if I lay this out, you know what, I've got some little pieces. I know, it's Robin's favorite. I've got some cheesecloth here. So if I lay it across, maybe I'll do some smaller pieces. Okay, let's do that. I've got some fabric here. Maybe... Maybe something like that, just kind of making some little collage tabs. What do you think? Something like that? All right, let's see. Um, 
We're going to have one more subscription box here this year. It'll be out in October. Norella's be working on it. It's going to be a Christmas subscription box. We're going to go over to the sewing machine here in just a moment. Let's see what else I can put on here. I think I have some... I have some threads. These are old threads. So if you have really old thread and you start sewing with it and you notice that, well, it's just not working out so well. It has a tendency to break. Well, here's what you can do. You can take a little bundle of it and I'm going to lay this cheesecloth on top of it. And then that'll help make it a little decoration. And we're going to zigzag stitch over this in just a moment. What now? It's a little early for that stuff. <laughs> well, you know, I already had it on my desk, so I'm using it. <laughs> I'm just getting little bundles of thread. Oh! It went crazy on me. All right. Got one more little bundle here. Need to put one here. I need one more. And then I can put the thread away. Okay, stay. Stay. <laughs> thank you, Robin. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you, thank you, thank you. <laughs> ah. She's still donating like she wants this journal. <laughs> All right, so we're going to go over to the sewing machine. And what I'm going to do is just kind of stitch, crazy stitch over this, okay? Already bringing out the cheesecloth. All right, let's hope that the sewing cam is set up. Can you see over there? Do you need to see my face while I sew? So I have a regular sewing machine. I have it set up with black thread in the upper and lower I've got it set for a zigzag stitch. I have a regular needle. Nothing really fancy. Yes, yeah, you want this one, she says. <laughs> so I'm just going to kind of stitch. Let's kind of stitch at a diagonal and see if that kind of catches everything. Of course, if you don't have a sewing machine, you could use some glue and just glue things on. You may want to glue a bigger piece of the cheesecloth on top. Or you could use something like... Um, what is it? A tool? Maybe you've got some tool. You could lay that across there and then glue it down. So here's how it look once you fold it over your page. So you got a little bit of some fibers and whatnot. We'll do that some more. Sewing lamb! Let's see. So yeah, I've been working up at the shop. We have got some new equipment. We were already offering the service of what we call direct print direct to garment printing where we could take an image a digital image it could be a photograph it could be text it could be your corporate logo whatever it is and we could send it to the printer and then print on the garment directly we were limited on some garments because if it isn't 100 percent cotton you had to put what's called a pre-treat chemical onto the garment. Well, that is messy. It's also sticky. And if you don't wash it immediately, everything sticks to it and makes the garment look dirty. So then we started a new process where it's called direct to film, where you print to basically, you know, transparency sheets are where they're textured on one side and you can print on that and then you have an image on a transparency sheet. Well, they offer the same type of concept in the technology that they offer with our printer to print on film. And then what you do is you press, basically think iron on, to a garment and then you peel that paper off and the garment sticks. So that's a new process that we're offering in our shop. So I've been learning how to do that and then doing it, mainly staying on my feet for most of the day. So I, by the end of the day, I'm wore out. I'm tired. 
Okay, I like how this turned out. So what if we were to put these maybe, oh, I don't know, halfway down the page? What do you think? Do you like that? Oh, thank you, Jennifer. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So today I've, hey, Amanda Dawn. Hey, I haven't seen you in a little while. So glad you're here. I am going to make a fabric journal cover and try to poke all these pages that I've made inside of it. <laughs> we'll see how this is going to go. I think I'll go ahead and make this at the same spot. They are going to be two signatures, and some of the pages have tabs and things sticking out. Some of them do not. It is not sublimation. It is not sublimation. Sublimation only works on polyester clothing, polyester items. What we can do is print directly onto the garment, and then the other is tr printing to a film. So basically like a transfer sheet is what we make, or two of the options that we make. So it's a little bit different. All right, so we're going this side. It's a little bit better for, maybe you've got an image that you went to a screen printer, but they were like, well, lady, look, you're going to need like 25 different screens in order to get those colors. And this is how much it's going to cost. It's going to be an astronomical amount. Well, instead, you can come to us and we'll just print it just as you see it. Does that make sense? So that's what I've been working on. I haven't had a lot of time to craft. I did it a little bit of time yesterday and this today, and then I got to go back to work tomorrow. <laughs> Henry's been gracious enough to let me have a little bit of time. Okay, so there's a couple of tabs. Okay. I don't have a lot of decoration on this inside area. Do we want to do something where... I got a couple of these images, maybe this one and maybe that one we can go up the side or would it be better to go in the middle? In fact, let me see something. If this was half of the page, you would see it on this side. And then when you flip that over, you would see it peeking out on the other side. What do you think? We'll go right down the middle. Let's see if this one will do the same thing. This one may not be big enough. But if I put it like that, so you would see half of it on this side and then half of it on that side. What do you think? You like that idea? I will. I will, Jennifer. I will. And we need to get together. I haven't forgotten you. I've just not been available. <laughs> Um, do I want to do, let's just, let's go ahead and add it. So I want to make sure that I add a good amount of glue on the edges so it'll lay flat. Get my bone folder and smooth it out. Okay. Set that aside to dry. You like that idea? Thank you, Margie. Go down the page. All right, that's kind of using the guides of where the holes are that made the page. Okay. All right, we got those two. This is a planner's journal, so I have planner pages in it. Do we want to have a to-do list or do we want to say notes maybe on there? Let me grab my word stamps, the majority of them anyway. We could do, how about live your best life? Oopsie, one of my, and I've got notes. Let's do that. Live your best life, which is over here. And should we stamp it direct to the paper? Why not? We can. It is a possibility. Oh, I'm so sorry for your loss. Oh, I, I understand what it's like. We had a 
19 year old poodle. He didn't live with us that whole time, but he had lived with us. You know, I'm beginning to think this won't, um, this will show through. And we had to put him down. So it's sad. It's really sad, you know, when they're going blind and they, they can't get around and they're, you know, bumping into things or whatever. So you got, you got to do what you got to do. I think that might be wide enough. And I think that one might be wide enough. You know, I, I save all these strips whenever I cut up paper. And so I've got like a little baggie. Make do. <laughs> Manda. <laughs> My husband would like that. <laughs> Oh dear, you naughty, naughty girl. <laughs> so I feel sorry for you and I know how hard it feels and the hurt you feel. All right, we're going to stamp that here. Hey, Suzanne, great to have you here. All right, we'll stamp that one over here. Get my head in the way. Oh no, tell it to behave. Tell it, shame on you. I know, sometimes I, even when I logged into Streamlabs today, it was giving me issues, and I'm like, seriously, quit that. All right, we'll stamp on here. Well, it's not perfect, but we'll do what we've got to do. There we go. All right, so we got that. I better put the stamp back where it belongs. Otherwise, when I want it again, I won't be able to find it. Let's put this away. Not my fabric scissors. Let's go there. Okay. So I'll just trim this. Set that over there. Who knows? I may need it again. Okay. So let's add some distress inks around the edges of these. Oh, I had to sign out and sign back in. Sometimes it doesn't register that you're logged in all the way. That may be why. Okay. I was going to stamp this directly onto the page, but since this paper is so thin, I knew that this ink would bleed through. Now, if I were to write on here, I would use the Sharpie No Bleed pens. All right. So, because Robin doesn't like the cheesecloth, I've got some fabric here. I can just had a little bit of fabric here. So, if we were to put that up here. Ah, thank you, Amanda Dawn. You got in. <laughs> thank you, thank you. All right, so then we'll go here. And then we'll put, ah, the glue is falling. Let's do this one. Live your best life. Okay, what do you think? We've got those started, so we'll glue these all together. I don't know what I'm going to do next week. It kind of depends upon how much time I have this week to prepare. I have started collecting items to do the, uh, I think it's called, I don't know if it's Gothic or Gothic Rose Kit by Calico Collage. So I've been collecting the things. I have those available in my little bin. And every time I see something that I think goes with that journal, I pop it into that bin. So I have all the things so I can make a mess on my desk just like I have now. Robin loves cheesecloth. We need more, Margie says. <laughs> I put words in your mouth, Margie. All right, I'm just coming out here to the edge. If you ever notice that your journal really has a gator mouth, it's if you have too many thick things in the center, it makes it harder for the pages to lay flat. All right, so I'm going to fold this in half. Okay. All right, so there is the inside pages. 
And then we need to do something with the outside here in just a moment. Oh yeah, if you haven't already got into the raffle, you can do so now. What I should have done was put this on the other side and then I could have stamped on this side, but you know, it happens. Now you can add another little piece of paper to the tab if you want to be able to write something on that tab. I was looking around to see if I could find a little scrap of paper, but I think for now I'll just leave it. But if you wanted, like, I don't think I have enough of this, but you could take a little piece of this paper. It kind of covers it up, but you could put that on there if you wanted. All right, so let's fold this one. Oh, sign out, sign back in. Okay, right, just kind of lining this up. I'm using the fold that's already there. Okay, so now I've done this side. Let's do something on this side. What do we want to do? Let me get a drink of water. Mm. I started something earlier. I made these little watercolor blocks. Um, basically, I just um, took my watercolor brush and added, a, made a little rectangle and then colored it in. I think I have some decorative scissors here. This is the deckel edge. You know, it's a little bit more forgiving. So here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come in here. Oh, thank you, Cricket. Cricket, Cricket, Cricket. Chirp, chirp, chirp. We've been having tons, and not that you're a cicada, but we have tons of cicada here in Oklahoma. And I was noticing yesterday, I got to go outside for a little while and sit on our patio. It was such a beautiful day. Henry put up the umbrella for me so I wouldn't sunburn because I burn so easily. He even helped me move a couple of times when the sun was shifting and I had gone back out again. But I could hear the cicadas. They were in the trees around us just making all kinds of noise. So reminds me of crickets too, because occasionally when the cicadas are gone, you can hear the crickets. So this is just a Fisker's paper edger. I don't know, I thought maybe we'd do something with those. I've got four of them. Okay, let's see. What do you think? We've got four little pieces here. I'll put that in my bin. Now, do I want to stamp flowers? I've got these little flowers. Oh, thank you, Suzanne, for your donation. I have these little flower stamps. These are called, uh, there's some hair on it. Dainty flowers set, I think it is. Dainty flowers. There's a bunch, four little pieces. This is a separate piece. I think maybe those could go on there. Let me add some distress inks on here. So we can add a little extra to the edge, right? I used the uh, Jane Davenport watercolors. So these are the watercolors that I use. It's the Bright palette. And I just kind of put a little bit of colors down here and was mixing it around on my page to see what I could come up with. Okay, I think I want to stamp flowers on top of those. So I've got, I've got this little flower. So let's stamp it right in the middle. We'll just stamp it like this. Well, that's kind of pretty, isn't it? Since I got four panels, that's why I went ahead and stamped that one twice. And let's do, oh, which one? Let's do this one. Does that fit? Yeah, it'll fit. Okay. And like that. 
I think that'll work. All right, now, I think, did I have those in here? It might have been in here. I've moved some stuff around. I got some butterflies. Oh, uh, thank you so much, Morgan, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Well, oh, here we go. I've got some words I stamped out. Let's see what we've got here. I've got, so we got believe and we've got create and today and happy. How's that? We'll do different ones on each one. Thank you so much. I still wouldn't let you. Cranky thing. And then I have, you know what? I've got these tiny library cards and postcards. Would one of these work with that? I don't know. I'm kind of deciding how I want to do that. Maybe I don't want to use those on this one anyway. Maybe a little piece of fabric would be good behind the uh, words. I've got this denim and I've got my rotary cutter. Since we use that pale blue on other stuff, I'm just going to take this. It's really handy having a mat that you can cut upon. So I'm just going to use my Fiskars. I like it because I can put it, put the blade away. I don't know if I can get all four. I'm going to, I'm going to cut one more just so I have it. Okay. Put that back over here. Put this up. Put this back. All right. So now we've got all of these guys. These guys. Let's cut that. All right, let's go right here. All right, am I missing anything? Can't get anywhere since my back. Oh, no. Sorry about that, Bonnie. That's no fun to have your bank card hacked. And I'll be honest with you, Henry and I haven't used an actual bank card, like a debit card. Oh, it'll fit in years because of friends that kept getting their accounts compromised. So we don't even use it. We use a checkbook <laughs> when we want to take money out of our checking account. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna fold this over and put this right here. Now, do, I can make this a tuck spot if you want. Let's do that. I'll glue this piece together and then kind of glue it on the edge before I glue the whole thing down. That way I don't accidentally glue down that corner. So we'll press this into place and then put some glue right here on this corner. Like that. What do you think? We could also add a little bit of bling to this. Yes, one moment, Robin says. Oh, it may be hard to figure out. You have to go to my, uh, go on my webpage and just type, or go down the bottom and look for, on the store. And I think it's, I don't remember. Oh, I did that whole thing. I didn't mean to. Subscription box or kits. Okay, I'm going to let that dry so that glue won't stick. All right, so I went two on that side. So these need to go on this side here since we're doing opposite page. Oh my gosh, Jennifer, that's terrible. We don't, like I said, we use a credit card instead of our bank card. That way our credit card, they have um, security measures that they won't get very much money. In fact, years ago, my card was compromised and someone was trying to go on a shopping spree at Clark's Shoes in Germany, and they were trying to purchase $30,000 worth of shoes. So my credit card company, it's a business card, 
saw that and said that they called me, put a hold on it, I think, kept them from doing anything and called me to let me know what was going on. I thought that was insane. All right. So we're going to put this guy like right here. I think that looks pretty good on there. Kind of breaks it up and then we can use it as a tuck spot. So we'll glue this down. Yeah, it was crazy. That that was crazy. So that, that's again why we don't use an actual bank card anymore. We just have a credit card that we use instead and you just pay that off using our checking account. <laughs> All right, so I just put glue in that corner so that this could be a tuck spot on the page. If you don't like it, you could always glue it down, but I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Okay, so, all right, that one didn't have glue on the edge, so, but we're gonna put that right here. Okay. All right, there's one page that we've completed. Here's the other side. I'm kind of thinking I may want to glue that down, but I'm not going to put anything in there right now. I will leave it for whoever gets the journal. How's that? All right, now cooperate with me. All right, make this a tuck spot. I'm trying to get as much, or I tried to get as much as I could done before the live today because I knew I wanted to make a fabric cover and I haven't done any of the legwork, so to speak, to prep the cover other than I grabbed some fabric. <laughs> Your bank messages if there's anything over 50 cents. <laughs> so is that trying to tell you that you don't have any money in the account or is that just truly the precaution? <laughs> you bank in Kentucky and live in or Missouri, so it was a pain. Oh my goodness. Oh, they hassled you about it. Oh, that's too bad. All right, I think I like that. All right, so I had these pages that I made already. So we've got two pages there. I'm going to put this up here. Uh, a page I started last week before the live was I took a smaller book page and one of Norella's pages, and it just so happened to work out that I folded it in half and tore it, and then I took those two panels and tore it to where I could just see the flower benches, and I wasn't going to do this, but I glued it down so I could still tuck under it. And then I glued another piece of paper just to fill that void so you have a little bit of writing space. And then I had these little notepad, tear off notepad papers. I only distressed the front because, you know, I'm lazy. And I put to-do list and a little dragonfly. I think this is dragonfly number two. And I thought that just made it really simple. I stamped the... Uh, leaves and berries down the middle here and then on this side these are believe it or not junior legal notepad paper and i trimmed it just a little bit to fit this page particularly then i stamped it this is the uh flower bunch silhouette i think that's right flower bunch silhouette and then always dream big and let's adventure and robin's favorite the cheesecloth and then this is my little curly swirly rubber stamp and maybe called swirl border but i thought that was kind of a pretty little page so i made a couple of those let's um i'll show you what we did see last week we made this page where i showed you how to make the pocket we glued some pieces together to make a journal card. This was some ledger paper, so you can still see it behind the pocket. Yes, I covered it up over here. This was a stencil, stamping, and fabric. On this side, I again tore one of the pages, and then this is scrapbook paper that I stamped on. I ran out of time during the live to add paper to this side, so after, I found another piece of scrapbook paper and then used another one of the images 
to put in here. So we got those made. All right. Let's see how many I've got. One, two, one, two, three, four. So there's four pages made. I'll show you this and I haven't decided what I'm going to do about these so we may end up doing something else. So I took some of the pages and when I first was requested to do this kit I printed a bunch of the pages one-sided and then I talked to Norella. Y'all enter the raffle for 200 junk bucks. I talked to Norella and said hey Norella uh, I think you need to make a planner kit to go with this journal the blue bonnets. And so she did. So I ended up sewing the edges and then sewing the top and the bottom to make these each pocket pages. So there's holes in here. And on each of these, I then took some of the journal pages and I printed them as an eight by 10 image, which puts a white border and shrinks the image a little bit trim those images out and then I added a little piece of lace to the edge with the little zigzag stitch and then on the other side each page I did two at a time got a stencil pattern and then I went through the planner pages here and I just did every other one or every one of them but I kind of alternated whether it be in the front or the back the front and the back and then I cut these and I haven't done anything else with them, but they're just scrapbook paper that I thought would be handy for writing space. Now this could be made into a pocket. You could sew this, glue this, whatever you would like, and that could be a pocket. But I made a few of those. So, so just for now, because I don't know how much time we're gonna have, if I put them in here, they're already in here, right? I would just go through these and I made them just small enough to fit. So when you're going through the journal, you've got additional writing space right here. All right, so I'll flip that over. And I just grabbed different blue scrapbook papers that I had in my stash. Some were given to me, some I purchased, some were from uh, paper pads. So just kind of using it up, you know. I'll put that in there, flip it over. Put one in here. So there are six planner slash printed pages, and I put more papers in those. So as you can see, it's already starting to get fluffy. And we already had four other pages. So now we're up to 20 papers. Okay, these are extras. So I'm gonna stick those over there for now. Ah, okay, so let's make this page. Oh, I gotta do the raffle. All right, so I need a prize, right? What do I wanna do? Y'all enter the raffle if you haven't already. You know what? I'm going to go get my paper off the printer that I want. If I can disentangle myself, oh my goodness, I didn't know this was going to be a nightmare from my microphone. So hopefully this won't make a bunch of feedback noise when I disengage. I'm going to leave these for you to look at for a moment and I'll be right back to get a prize. Okay, I'm back. I'm back, I'm back, I'm back. I'm getting hooked back up again. All right, what did I do with that paper clip? There it is. <laughs> I used a paper clip to hook to my clothes. Hopefully it'll stay there. All right, we've got a raffle here and we're gonna give away 200 junk bucks. 
so that you get closer to getting your coupon code by having 2,000. So the winner of 200 junk bucks is Manda Dawn, congratulations, you've won 200 junk bucks. All right, so here's what I'm gonna do. I am going to give away a rubber stamp. So we're gonna put a tiny, So here we go, open giveaway. I'm gonna give away one tiny library rubber stamp that I made to the lucky winner. So y'all enter the raffle to win that rubber stamp. I need to clean my hands off again. Okay. All right, so I showed you that. Let's start this page. So I need to put I'm going to fold these. These are going to be the inner covers to my signatures because I think what I'm going to do is my signatures are actually going to be journals we can take out of the fabric if we want. That's my thought anyway. We shall see if it comes to fruition. So these are going to be the outer covers. And I went ahead and used just one of the planner um, pages for the inside cover because I just thought that was neat. So I'm going to set this back up here. And now I've got a page I want to work on. Let me do it this way. I know I want the stencil. Okay. I have a bunch of little pieces of paper that I was picking through, trying to figure out what I was going to do to decorate my page. All right, so I want that. I've got two notebook papers, or junior legal notebook papers. I'm going to get out my spray box, and I'm going to lay these in the box and then put my stencil over the top of this is one of my monthly artistic stencil clubs and we're going to use under the sea so it's a pale blue i'm trying to use up the tatter angels that i already have in my stash so i didn't want to open a new bottle of blue because i have so many that i need to use up and this is under the sea wave so it's another little shade kind of a more teal type blue aquamarine or something and then I have in my stash some of this copy weight paper so all I'm going to do is touch that to my stencil after I sprayed it with my tattered angels and then I think I want this one I'm going to spray the back side and I forgot to decorate that page so we'll figure out something so there is the mop-up paper so you can kind of see it bleeds through just a little bit. We'll set that aside to dry. Remove the stencil. And then here's our pages that I want to use on here. Okay. I'm going to let these dry a moment. So I'm going to set those aside. And I'm going to grab a couple of things here. So first, I've got, I don't think that was very straight. I've got some, oh, it's a dictionary page, and it's rather thin. It's sturdy, but it's flimsy in, in that it doesn't keep its shape very well. Things, if you put it on there, might kind of sag. So what I'm doing is I'm using it as a base. To apply other things to so maybe you've got some junk mail or old book pages they're sturdy but they're not um, in that they're not tearing they're not brittle but maybe they kind of don't sag when you hang one little thing on there well this way if I glue another piece of paper down it gives a little bit more body so I've got one of my direct to paper mixed media pages that I made. And yes, I know I said I would get the digitals done. I've got the files 
created into digital images. Now I've got to group them together and make a digital download with it. So it takes me a little bit of time to sit at my computer without interruption so I don't lose my place to get those done. I'm using a Lean's Tacky glue because it's paper to paper. If you use a very thin amount, and by the way, if you haven't found the bottle that has this easy, um, what is it, always ready lid, look for one. It's worth it to buy it even on just one bottle, then you can take it off and put it on the next bottle if you're a person that likes to throw away your bottles. I get the small bottles, and thank you, Morgan, for sending me a, a bottle to me a few weeks ago uh, I like the small bottles because they're easier on my hands all right so I did that I glued that to one side with me all right now I need this oh I didn't do that so where is one yeah we'll do one of these okay so now I have, have you seen my tutorial? Which month stencil club was the last stencil? The, the, hang on one moment. I'm getting them out. That was August. Let's see. Which one was that? It wasn't July. That's January, there's February, March, was it March? No, it's not March. Was it, I haven't glued it on there yet. It wasn't May, it wasn't June. Okay, I know it was a stencil club. No, I just don't remember which one it was. Because I just had it out. Well, I don't know. I can't tell you. You'll have to go back and look. But I was pretty confident that was a stencil club. <laughs> January. February. March. I'm missing April. It must be April. Because there's June, July. Yeah. Okay, sorry. Put that back over here for now. All right, so I made a tutorial on how to make a clear pocket. This journal page is going to open from this way. I want this to house another journal that I made. So I'm going to use my beacon glue because we're dealing with plastic here. So I'm putting a little bit of glue down this edge because this is going to be the opening to my pocket, okay? I know it's one of these. I don't know. I it's my mind has gone blank. I wonder if it's from a past year, last year. Oh, I got glue where I didn't want to. I hate that. Okay. Okay. Well, we'll cover it up, but I glued this shut because that's going to be where my journal slides in. Now, this is acrylic paint on book pages. Acrylic paint doesn't always like tacky glue. It has a tendency to pop free, so I'm going to use the beacon glue again, the Fabri-Tac, on the little tabs here. So I'm just adding a little bit here, and we're just going to add this as a pocket. That gummit can't hang on to it. I don't like this glue. It is not my favorite, but it was free and I'm trying to use it up before it goes bad. Okay. All right. So now I'm going to do is glue this kind of somewhat in the center here. And kind of smooth that out a little bit. 
All right. It's the July Stencil Club. Okay. I couldn't figure it out. Well, that was right on time. Where did I see that? July. I don't think it was. It's not the July Stencil Club. It'll take me a minute, and I'll remember where it was, but it was not July. It wasn't March. It might be April, because I don't see April laying on top. Crazy confetti. I got out a bunch of stencils this day, and, and I had some stencils out from when we were doing the mixed media. I don't know where it was. Okay, so this is going to open this way. So I want to make sure that nothing got glued where it wasn't supposed to. And then I made a little journal. So this was just a piece of cardstock that I cut down. Basically, it's six by eight inches folded in half. One of Norelli's images. I printed all of the journal pages, or excuse me, the, well, journal pages and the ephemera on text white paper. And then I had some paper that I, Tattered Angels dyed, a book page. What else is in here? Scrapbook paper, a piece of um, ledger paper. So this will go in here. So we can see the front of that journal. And I think what I want to do is put, let's put that right there in the middle. So we'll still see the journal behind it. I think it might have been the April one. Oh, uh, you know what? I don't know that I the Aline's Tacky Glue link that I have has the ready cap. I don't think that's the link that I have saved, but I can get one and save it because it sure is handy. All right, I'm gonna put that right in the middle. I like it. What do you think? Now you've got, again, a little journal that you could take with you. You could glue um, little pieces of paper on top of here if you so choose. Whatever you want. All right, now let's flip this over. And I have some scraps of paper here that were left over. Okay, where am I? here oh yeah so I need where is it ah here we go I need one of these ah uh, thank you so much Janice for your donation thank you thank you thank you all right so thank you Suzanne thank you thank you thank you aha I didn't do that but that's okay we got time all right Here's what I've got. I had some sheet music and I tore it. So I have a little piece there. I've got a little piece of scrapbook paper that I found in my stash. I thought, well, that would be good to use as well. Um, so I'm gonna put that right here, I think. Maybe I'll put it behind. Yeah, I'll put it behind. I like that better. Little piece there. And then I had this little piece of a book page or, or what is that uh, copy weight paper so I am just tearing around the edge of it just so I can have a little jagged edge many 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 years ago probably now 15 years ago I used to make little Japanese stab binding journals um, God, that was so long ago I made bunches of them so I pre-cut a bunch of paper so that it was 11 by four and a quarter inches and when I fold them in half you got these really neat journals that were a fun pocket size that weren't your normal you know this way pocket it was this size so anyhow I have all these papers left over and I've been trying to find creative ways to use it <laughs> Oh, I have been 
working through some stuff at the shop, I used to make greeting cards and they were in shops in Yukon and Oklahoma City and I had some in Norman for a little while. So when those shops, you know, kind of changed and the tides changed, I stopped making the greeting cards. And so now I have all these boxes and boxes of greeting cards. So I'm getting ready to go through them. I've got to find a package that I want to put them in and then bundle up a bunch of greeting cards and I'll be offering those soon in my shop because I, I just need to pass them along. I used to sell these greeting cards. Man, when I first started, maybe $2, you know, some of them. And then as I got in it more and more, I started... I increased my prices, you know, I went up to 350 and then a little bit later I was adding some more embellishments and the cost of paper had gone up. So I started charging $5. Some of my mixed media cards that I made, I charged eight to $12 for them. Just kind of depend upon what I use to make them. So I've got a variety of cards left over that need a good home. They're still good. I think most of them, if not all of them, were packaged in like a cellophane envelope so they didn't get dust on them. The envelope on the outside may have dust, but the contents don't. <laughs> hey, Barb, thank you so much for your donation. Thanks for being here. All right, so we've got, so we're just making a little collage of little pieces on there. What do you think? You're here, you're here. And then this is one of Norella's fussy cut elements. And I think I'm just gonna glue it down. It will be hanging off, so I'll trim it, is what I plan to do. So I'm just adding a little bit of glue on here. Okay, so let's add this right in here. So it helps sturdy the paper that we were using so it's not quite so flimsy feeling. I'm just gonna cut this off. Okay. And I thought I had, yes I do. I've got some uh, butterflies that I thought would be good on here. But I also wanna put the word journal up there and I didn't have one already made. So, I don't know, maybe this one. I'm gonna see if these are big enough. What are you doing, Hercules? Oh, this was one of my favorite. It's the Journal Quartet number two. Okay, I think it'll fit on this one. Put that up there. Get some distress, not distress, get some black ink. And I'm going ahead and stamping another one. Who knows? I may need it. I've already got the stuff out. All right. Put the stamp away where it belongs so you can find it another day. All right. We'll cut this off. I'll go ahead and cut this one. Put that in my thing. Somehow I got my hands all dirty again. Don't know how. All right. Well, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're here. All right, so we've got journal. That kind of blends down into the page, don't it? So I've got some fabric here. You know what? I didn't put these scissors away. I'll be mad at myself later. Okay, I've got a little piece of fabric here. So let's cut a little piece of fabric to go behind the word journal. We think glue those together. And this journal page is fluffy. Come on, stick on there. Okay, glue this down. What time is it? Four fifty. I'm trying to gauge how much time I have and what we're gonna do next.
Okay, we're going to glue that right here. Oh yeah, where are those? Here they are. I've got some more of these page tabs. So I want to take these and fold them in half, get rid of the fabric again. And let's add some distress inks to them. And I don't know how I managed to do this, but apparently I had this cardstock that's the same color as the text weight paper in my stash. It's probably because I used to buy both cardstock and text weight paper because of the greeting cards and the little journals I made. So I wanted to match. You're loving this? Well, thank you. All right, so we've got this. I think I think I want to glue that down here. So we'll have some more tabs. This will be a little bit further down on the page from the one we had earlier. And it's different. They're not all identical. So we'll put that right here-ish. Maybe a little bit higher. We'll go a little bit higher there. Because I remembered I had this piece. So I've got to glue that inside. All right, so I'm going to put that in here. There. I even got them lined up so they're at the same height. Oh, look there. This page is empty. You like this? You know what I didn't do? I didn't add any bling. So we should do that, right? Um, let's see. Is this one? Here we go. Ah, come here. They're bigger than I would probably have used, but why not? We'll just kind of put them down the center of... The butterfly there and I'm doing it again on the other one I kind of like that I don't think this page needs them but I thought that page might use them this is a little plain here I think what I want to do is find another stamp Hmm. What would I want to use? You know what? How about the henna rose stamp? So the henna rose stamp. And I think I have Distress Oxide in Blueprint Sketch. And here's what I'm going to do. I don't want a really good impression. I just want a partial one. So I'm just kind of using my fingers. Just so that I have a little bit. Like where did this paper come from? How did that happen? How did they get that pattern? It's called stamping. <laughs> like that. What do you think? Alright. Put this. I put the sheet away, so put it on top of it. Now I got ink on me. Okay. So let's go back to this side, making sure I've got it right side up. And we've got these little papers that we painted earlier. There they are. I need these. And where's the other one? There it is. Okay, so I have these two pieces of paper here that we colored with Tattered Angels. I'm going to put them back to back and add some Distress inks to the edge. They're thin, so by putting them together like this, it gives them a little bit more durability so they don't rip on you. Okay, and... I'm using Walnut Stain, and I just re-inked it today, so it makes it a lot darker. 
you like the lighter colors, you may like vintage photo a little better, but I like that this gets on there pretty quick. Yeah, I think she did. Thank you. I, I will let her know. I, I think she did a great job with this kit planner, too. All right, so I need to go. I want to go all the way to the edge. And I want it even from top to bottom. So I'm going to add my glue here on the back. Go up the side. All right, so we'll go right here, right on the edge, okay? There, and then we're going to repeat that on the other side. <laughs> you love Junkie Joe? <laughs> oh, well, we're sorry, Barb. We missed you last week after you left. All righty, let's put this over here. Just realized this is the last full week of summer, so enjoy it. Yeah, this is it. We're about to have fall, right? We're in September. It was nice, cool weather we had this weekend. All right, so now I've gone and added this in the middle. Again, this is just a foundation. So now what I need to do is I've got a couple of strips of scrapbook paper. I cut into one inch strips. I forgot to add some distress inks to the edges. So I'm going to do that now. This is a great way to use up that scrapbook paper. Maybe you want to have enough that every so often you see a little piece of it in your journal where you could cut strips and use the strips. You could cut it into smaller blocks to either have writing space, whether it be the front that you write on or the back or both. Love that Junkie Joe. Feels like fall today, you're ready for it. I, my husband just reminded me that I'm gonna probably have to get some sweatshirts and put those in my shop because, you know, fall, and we like fall weather. I hardly wear sweatshirts. I wear I wear a zipper hoodie sometimes, but I don't wear pullover sweatshirts very often. I get too hot. All right. Oh, I forgot this piece. I've got a piece here, and it is a little bit wider. It was what was left over from a scrap, so it's about an inch and a quarter wide. So what I'm going to do here is I want this in the center. I'll just fold this edge and cut it. And I need to add some distress inks to the outside edges here. Like so. Okay, so I've got these pieces that I've prepared. So what we're going to do is glue this one down in the middle. I semi-prepared. I didn't get them as prepared as I had hoped. All right, kind of putting that in the middle there, pressing that into place, and then I'll glue this at the top, and then we'll glue the weather one at the bottom. So here's a way to add writing space if you like a, a little bit straighter edges, if you will. Or you could do like I did on the opposite page, on the other side, where I tore papers. What do you think? Yeah, the days can be brutal. Well, we had company Saturday. They came over for dinner. And after dinner, we were going to go outside and we walked outside and the temperature had dropped. It was like 60 degrees, which is lovely, but it was just so windy. It was cold. You know, when you're used to, 
90 something degrees and it's 60 all of a sudden you're like whoa that's too cold I'm not going to sit outside and then a little bit later we looked outside again and it was raining it's like oh I didn't know it was going to rain so it's a good thing we stayed inside <laughs> all right so we got that and then I have the legends what else do I have here oh I've got some little images I've got this image. Oh, wait, I've got a different one. I'm going to use that one. Okay. I've got text. When you see a chance, take it. And, you know, I didn't put anything over here, but I think I've got an idea of something I can do. Okay. So these are some uh, one inch squares that Norella offers in her shop. She, I think it's kind of a multi-pack where you get uh, square images and rectangular images but I'm not positive I know you'll see them in her shop if you type in blue bonnets so there are those little pieces all right so I'm going to glue if you see a chance take it across that decorative paper at the top and put that right here. How's that? Cool, cool, fine romance. In the evenings can be brutal, yeah. It's been nice to open up the doors. I had them open Saturday and a little bit yesterday and a little bit this morning. I had to shut them before the live stream so it doesn't get too hot in here okay legends of the blue bonnets okay and now i gotta look at this to figure out which is the right side i think it goes that way because i think it's a field and this is the sky at the top so i'm gonna just glue that right there and then i'll glue this one over here I'm just talking to myself. Don't worry about it, y'all. <laughs> oh, Phil Collins. Okay. <laughs> I thought maybe you were talking Lady Gaga. Bad romance. <laughs> uh, if you see a chance, take it. If you find romance. Gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Okay, I like that. And then I have the word bloom and a little piece of painted paper. Do we want to do something? Maybe like that. I think that would work. I just noticed that I didn't have anything on my other page. Okay, what is it? 504. All right, I got two little pieces there. I'm going to glue these down. We need some bling on this page, don't we? I haven't put any on here. So I'll have to see what I can find. You'll be seeing it all evening. <laughs> You, you do not do Lady Gaga, you're old school all the way. <laughs> you know, it, it's interesting. Henry and I have always enjoyed music. Even outside of before we got married, we both enjoyed music. So we listen to all the genres, all the new stuff. And some of it I don't like and some of it I love. It just kind of depends upon who it is and what it is. Um, one of my newest kind of fun songs that I like to play every once in a while and I need to download it because I no longer have the music unlimited music on the lady in the box <laughs> I don't want to say her name um, because it'll set off everybody's <laughs> device and I can't play it right now so I'm kind of sad so I need to go find where I can download it and buy it but it's called um freaks by timmy trumpet 
<laughs> yeah, you'll you'll just have to listen. Go go find it on uh, YouTube after this live stream. Get you down a different rabbit hole of either music you hate or music you love. <laughs> Yes, the, the Tony Bennett album with Lady Gaga was amazing, wasn't it? 40s and 50s. You're not that old, Robin. Why are you going after the 40s and 50s, woman? All right, so we put bling on here, but we didn't have any bling on these pages. So I'm going to get, I've got my other page. This is a different paper. Um, I've got these, so let's do that. So... One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. I just realized Julie's not here today. I hope she's okay. Maybe it was too early for her. So what do we want to do? Maybe this way or this way? Hmm. Where do we want to put it now? Where do we want? I'll put it like this right out the end. If you see a chance take it how's that there we go come on stick and put it right there how's that all right now where do we want to put it on this one maybe maybe just a little dot right here at the corner i have one right here already so maybe yeah i like that okay grab another one come on put one right ah don't do that okay i think we need some butterflies on here too don't you <laughs> i listened to 40s junction oh on the series okay cool 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 <laughs> Um, butterflies. Butterflies. All right, I got to finish putting my labels on things so I can find them faster. Really, where are they? that I'm not going to find them. Ah, there they are. Second to the last one. I may want that. I don't know. Let's see. What little butterfly? Let's do this one. Let's see what happens. How about like this? There we go. Just needed a little bit more on there. Okay, we got that one done. So let's stamp this one. Okay. <laughs> Glenn Miller. That's the old big bands. My mom used to listen to the big band. Oh, you like this one? I think it's a collage butterfly. It's got a, some neat patterns in it. Okay, so that one is done. Let's put this over here. I think I'm to a point. That's what I didn't do. I didn't find a paper for this. You know, we've got so many papers. We got one two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Where am I missing some papers? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For some reason, I thought I had more than that made. Ah, oh, here we go. I had some more pieces here that I forgot about. I have a couple of smaller pieces of scrapbook paper I haven't done anything with. 
I've got just some other random papers that I found. And I got these two pieces. And then I've got these. So I think we'll fold these in half. I'm going to put them in the journal without further decoration. If we have time at the end, I'll decorate them. How's that? Okay. All right, so this one and this one, this one is kind of thin. I started this collage idea on it. I wasn't really sure what I wanted to do, you know. So let's let's finish it. Getting my distress ink out. That's kind of in the way. Quit being annoying, papers. I fussy cut out so many images. I have them everywhere. You can see the book page below. This is some more of that paper I was telling you about. I just cut it so it was a little bit smaller. And this paper is, it's thin, so I think I'll glue it down. I was thinking about making it a pocket, but I think it needs to be glued down. Uh, thank you, Ada, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, do we want it to have, yeah, I think it needs to be out on the edge because it's thinner paper and I don't want it to rip. So, this will add a little strength to this edge. I'm not really worried about this center, so I'm going to glue this down on the edges. Thank you so much, everybody, for your donations. I greatly appreciate it. I appreciate your support. I hope you're enjoying what I'm putting together. I'm giving you some ideas of creating. All right, let's put that right here. This is my bone folder. And we'll do it on this side. And I just saw that I need to add this tag somewhere that we made last week. And I wanted to make an altered paper clip or some way for this to go in the book somehow. So I've got these two pieces. You know, what we could do is I could put another a pocket over the top of these, at least on one side. So I've got this little scrap of paper that I could put over here and then maybe make this look like it's coming out. I don't know. Maybe we'll go this side. There we go. Is that what I want to do? Something like that. A little pocket over here. Let's cut that. You found my song, Bonnie? Was it funny? <laughs> Isn't it upbeat? Did it get your blood pumping or did you get totally annoyed? <laughs> Thank you, Rhonda, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I tell you, I have an eclectic taste of music. <laughs> right now, I'm listening to um, Y2K country music. So it's all the country music from 2000s. Uh, so it's got a, a wide variety on there. <laughs> all right, so I know I want to make this little pocket. And honestly... I think that would fit in there, but I really want it to be a little bit taller, I think. So let me look to see. Oh, it's wide enough that way. I could layer another piece. Let's do that. Let's just cut another little piece. So first, I want to cut this this way. Yeah. All right. So, I don't know, maybe if I made that 
two i'll make a two inch strip that way i have some lee room lee lee room leeway <laughs> lee room that <laughs> uh, can't go covering never would never will i understand some people don't i i enjoy it i like um pop music or the hits one station we'll listen to um EDO music we'll listen to uh i don't really care for rap music that much but christian music we'll listen to um jazz sometimes henry loves hair nation all those 80s metal bands i don't really care for the metal bands but i like a lot of the 80s music Oh, yeah, the judge. Kid Rock. Kid Rock considered country. I like him. He can be country sometimes, Barb. He can, he can. All right, so what if I... I don't know. I'm kind of changing my mind about this. I think I'm going to go back to my original idea of clipping it to the page. Maybe I'll use this one more else. <laughs> you know, I can change my mind. That happens. Let's get out a couple of rubber stamps real fast. I was going to put that over here on the edge, but I didn't. So we'll put this one here. You change your mind. You change it again. How about that? Kind of give you a different look. All right. I've got this piece. That's not quite big enough, but maybe we can collage a couple of pieces together to make a paper clip. Aha, I've got this piece. So what if I take this and fold it in half this way? And if I were to put my paper clip in here, okay, and made this so it clipped over the page like that. See what I'm doing? So let's decorate this little piece real fast. So first, let's add some distress inks. You don't like the new country, like country rap, I understand. Although I like Nico Moon. I'm just looking for a good time. <laughs> and what's the other one? Kane Brown. He's got some good songs. Oh, you know, that fits on there. Look at that. And then this can go on here. Hey, I think I think I got it. So let's take this. I'm going to move it over just a smidge and get my sizzles. And then if that was in the middle, that would make a cool little piece. So I'm going to glue this down. Actually, first what I'm going to do is get a piece of tape I don't always do this but on some things I've been doing it where I take a piece of tape packing tape and then put that over the paper clip like that and then take a little bit of the Fabri-Tac glue where that paper clip is under the tape because the tape is slick and then I'm going to take regular Aline's tacky glue and put it out here okay and then I'm going to squish it together and then I like to kind of go down here in the middle and push those together really well All right, so I got this piece that'll go on here. So let's round the corners. I think that would make it look better. Okay, so we're just gonna round these corners. 
like so. And then let's add some distress inks. Poke, poke, nudge, nudge. It's time for the raffle. Y'all enter to win a rubber stamp. I'll be giving away this little library card rubber stamp. What else could I put on here? I think maybe, what if we put a little piece of denim on here too? Or maybe I don't even want that. I don't know. I was going to use one of these earlier. What if we use it now? I've got one. Here we go. In that vintagey color and we got this one so this is the tiny library card and this is the tiny postcard a little scrap of paper here and i'm just going to use my blending brush just to alter the color just a little bit and i think i want to alter this label just a little just adding a little bit more blue to it. And that's a label that came in Norella's kit. Okay. So, if I put this down here, and maybe did where these kind of come out, and I'll put some denim behind them. So, we'll put this in here. Okay, and then I've got this little piece of denim, which I think might be, well, what I can do is do it this way then. I don't know that I want that much, so I'm going to cut it down to what I want it to be. So if we had that up here. And then I think this, and then if we put this over the top, I may need to put one more piece of paper under that label, or maybe I'll do this instead. I need a piece under that. I've got another piece of denim, but maybe, maybe this blue fabric would be better. Ah, uh, thank you so much, Robin. I like the little rubber stamps. They're fun. Okay, so let's add some distress inks. Y'all enter the raffle. Are you ready? I see a boss fight going off. Okay, I'm going to glue these together. We can also put bling on here. We're just decking this out, let me tell you. All right, I'm going to glue this kind of at an angle. And I'm letting it stick out. It'll stick out. Oops, I went too far with the glue this way. Okay. And then we'll glue these together on top of each other. You can't really see the paper underneath it that I put down, but I'm okay with that. I think that's kind of cute. Oh my, raffle away, Linda. Okay, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I want to get this glued down. All right, got it. All right, the winner of the tiny library rubber stamp is... Da, 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 Janice 
Janice Brammer. Congratulations, Janice. You won the tiny library card rubber stamp. All right, I'm going to get a drink. All right, let's reset this and say yes. And we're going to do tiny. All right. So this is for the tiny postcard rubber stamp. So we're going to give away another rubber stamp. It's the tiny postcard rubber stamp. So y'all enter the raffle. Oh, you know what? I've got these little butterflies. I've got a little one here. Should we put it on the library card? I think it would look cute on the library card. All right, let's put it right there. And then we need some bling. We gotta have some bling, because, you know, it's our thing. Okay. Um, right here, maybe? What do you think? Just a little bling? All right, so we just made an altered paper clip. So my idea was that this guy would hold this to the page. This page is still kind of flimsy feeling, so let's flip it over. I've got another piece of music. So I think what I want to do is I want to tear this where the music is. It's really fragile paper, but my thought was I can put it over the spine. I'm going to use this little scrap too, by the way, because this paper I feel is going to tear when we go to bind it, but I still want to use it. So I'm just going to cover that. And then I'm going to take this piece, rotate it around, and just trim it a little bit here. All right, then we'll turn it this way. There we go. So now what I'm going to do is I'll glue this down in the middle. Okay. So that'll help give this under paper a little bit more stability in that spine. It's not adding a lot of, of weight in there or thickness, but it's just enough. Okay. So what I want to do is, oh, I didn't add anything over here, did I? I've got um, happy day. Let's put that there. We'll fold this in half. Oop, make sure it's going right side up. There we go. And which way do we want to go? I got really close to the spine there. Let me trim this off. All right. So now when we open this up, I had some papers here. So this was some scrapbook paper that I tore. I've got a square that I tore to put here in the corners. And then I've got just a note that's from Norella's kit, as well as that says beauty. And then these are some other elements from her kit. I need to put some um, fibers in there. So this is kind of looking rather plain up here. 
I have a couple of smaller images I saw. So what if I were to put that up here? That just kind of fills, you still see all the different textures. We've got a pocket that we can put things in. I kind of like that. Yeah, the ephemera is really pretty. It's, it's a pretty, pretty kit. She did a great job with this one. Okay, so I think what I want to do is glue these in here. Maybe out just a little bit. I might need another little piece of blue paper, possibly. What if I've got some painted paper here? What does that look like? Just adding a little bit of a pop of color. This is a book page that I colored with Distress Oxide inks. It's maybe not quite so far over. Kind of like that. What do you think? Let's glue this down. I think we could add a little something on this little pocket too. We'll add these. All right, so this is the last free raffle, meaning if you want to win the journal today that I'm making, just make a donation of any dollar amount. And at the end, Robin will say, now is the time to enter. Actually, she'll type it. She won't say it. <laughs> Unless she's in her apartment saying it. I don't know. <laughs> oh, dear. I think the whole world knows <laughs> might. I like how this really gives a nice little contrast on here. Just adding a little something. Okay, what do you think? Oh, thank you, Terry, for your donation. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You talk as you type sometimes. <laughs> okay, got that smooshed out. There we go. All right. Talk as you type. Type as you talk. Okay. All righty. We're getting there. I think I'm at a point now that we can start the cover, which I need to do quickly because we're going to run out of time. If I don't hurry, I need to bind the journals because I'm going to do them as Midori style. And then I need to make the cover. And I have not planned the cover out, so you're going to see this all on the fly. All right, so I'm just going to kind of touch that to it for placement. I think right about there. Okay. Put this one up here. And I think I need another little piece of paper to go in here. Oh, I know what I could use. I've got a piece of, um, I think I've got some handmade paper I could pull out. I 
What do you think? And then this is going to go in here. And this is going to go over here. Now, maybe we don't need additional paper, but I'm going to look real fast. Maybe that, a little piece of that. I also had some other things I made, but I maybe just save those for some other day. Okay, so I'm thinking if I take my ruler and make this one, two, three, four, if I do it this way, I can make it half the page one two three four so let's go here so it kind of gives that torn edge and then here I'm going to do a five and a half right one two three four five and a half let's do that so I've got handmade paper that it's kind of funny how it turned out when you pressed it, the color went through to the back. So this is the back side and this is the front side where we were pressing it with the uh, uh, heat press. Oh, <laughs> it's just gonna be one journal. All right, so I'm just adding a little bit of some distress ink to this handmade paper. I am going to have another handmade paper workshop inside, Jennifer. Um, I'm waiting on a couple of ladies to let me know when they want to do it. And it'll probably be a Saturday or a Sunday. Unless someone says they want to do it during the week and I can cock Henry into letting me um, do that. See, I thought that paper would just be so pretty. And it doesn't need any other embellishment on it. All right, so I need to put something on here. I happen to have this little piece of denim here. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pop a piece through. And I don't want it super long, so I'm just going to cut it off. And I'm going to pop over here to the sewing machine. And stitch it across. I thought you might like that. We're going to do sewing lamb. <laughs> here he is. He's, he's right here. Sewing lamb. <laughs> Thank you, Giovanna, for that little lamb. I greatly appreciate it. Sewing through denim. It's thick. All right. So I just kind of let it stitch. It hangs every once in a while. It's okay. It's handmade. During the week you would do it. Well, if I had enough people. All right. So we'll go back to this side. This is where our tag is going to reside. We've got, I can put him closer to the front or he can be in the back. Let's do it this way. Although, I kind of like that. Maybe that should be the center of the journal, of one of the journals. I don't know. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I'm going to clean off a few things here. Just put it down there for now. And we're going to work on the cover as soon as I bind these journals together. I'm going to leave all these extra bits over here to the side. I need to get the paper off of my desk right now. So I have a little bit more room. Okay. Get rid of all this stuff that's on my desk. Put it over here. Put it over there. Okay. So here is one of the journal pages we made. Maybe this should be the center of our journals. I think that's what I'm going to do. So when you get to the dead center, this is what you'll see. I kind of like that. You know, I didn't put any bling on that, did I? 
Well, when we come back to it. All right, so that's going to go in the center of the journal. So what I'm going to do now is kind of get them all organized the way I want them. So this is going to be the front of the journal. So it's one of the first pages. So I'm going to put that here. Got two of them there. Then we had this page. Let's put it out of the way for a second. I think I'm going to put this page here. And I got three more of these. So I'm trying to figure out what's the best way to do it. Well, here's my random papers. So we're going to swap that because they'll look good over that page. Yep. And then I've got a couple of text weight papers here. Here's one of the smaller pages I made. So maybe there. We've got a the brown and it's got little edges on it. So maybe here. These will be my covers. I'll set those there. Let's see. Okay, like that. And I don't need some of these papers, but at the same time, I want them. Okay, I think this is going to go here. All right, I think I've got it arranged the way I want. So this would be, let's do it this way. This will be the very first journal in the collection or in the book that will have the month. And then we'll start putting the other papers inside. I've got to hurry if I'm going to make a fabric cover. Okay. Get this one. I like that. And I'm trying to decide. I may make a change here. Okay. Put that here. And then another one of the planner pages. And this is one of the junk pages. Here's some coffee dyed paper. Here is a text weight dyed or tattered angels paper. Then here is the center. All right, so I'm going to set that aside and do this again quickly. Scrapbook paper. Okay. Okay. I've got focused thinking about what I'm doing here, putting them together. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is bind these together. So I'm getting my binding tools. I got these little clippies and they come in handy. So I want to make sure that all my pages are lined up in the direction that I want them to be. So I'll put my little clips on here. Making sure my pages are all nested down into each other. All right, now cooperate with me. And I'm going to do a pamphlet stitch. Stitch these together. Okay. Oh. One, two, three. All right. I'm just getting my needle threaded. All right, so I've got 
my little piece of fun foam. I've got my template, and if you're looking for a template, just so you have the idea of where the marks go, some people don't use them, it's up to you. I've got one on my website. All right, so I'm going to use my Tim Holtz. Uh, well, thank you. <laughs> you like listen to me talk the way through the organization. <laughs> well, thank you, Robin. Uh, just going through all the layers all the way to the bottom, making three holes down the center of my journal. Okay. Now I'm going to bind this together in the center and then come up all right go down go up here I've got tutorials that show you without the distractions how to do a pamphlet stitch if you ever need help just let me know I like using wax linen thread and then I have these book binders needles that are in my shop most of y'all here I think have either purchased them or you have your own style that you like to use so I'm just making sure it's tight on the front and the back there's not any excess loops and we're gonna do a square knot right row Giovanna he loved you right back, huh? <laughs> it's not you didn't bribe him or anything. Oh dear. I think that was a good choice. Okay, let's close that. Oh my goodness, it's fluffy. All right. So again, we'll make sure these are all centered where I want them. It looks pretty good. Pinch those together. All right, got that all lined up. Where'd my template just go? Oh, there it is. I put it back. Believe it or not, I put it back where it's supposed to go. <laughs> all right. Poke through all the layers. All right. Okay, put that through. Okay. Pamphlet stitch keeps my mind going quick. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you, Suzanne. Thank you, thank you, thank you. All right. So we're going to put this in here. All right. Those are tight. Oh, how funny. These look almost like the same image, I guess, because they're in the same kit. All right, I need to change my scissors. Okay. Put everything back in the little baggie so I can find it later. All right, we'll set these aside for just a moment. Oh my goodness, Linda. I only dropped a few things in the floor. Something stuck to it. Really? I couldn't get the little piece of paper. Hercules, what do you think? All right, you can just stay down there. I was going to get my fabric bits. So I have all these little fabric bits. I don't know if we're going to use it all, but I got some. And I've got this fabric. So my thought was I would take some of this. Okay. I need it to be at least 
a little bit taller than my cover my insert so I'm gonna come over here let me get to on this edge and make a little snip and tear this okay this is just some cheap fabric that I picked up a long time ago and it's been perfect to use as a base for the journal covers so if I want to do both of these in here my idea was okay let's move it this way this would be the front so you would want it to come up around the front and then you want it to wrap over and that probably would be the right amount so that you have just a little bit on that cover I think so so I'm going to go ahead and snip this here okay and then set these aside and over here out of the way you play nice now all right so this is kind of my base and then I had a bunch of fabric and just so happened these were fabrics that were already sewn together so I was trying to decide if I did it like that you get a little bit of each one and I had some other fabric here I didn't have enough oh maybe I do right here aha I wasn't sure I had enough to sew that piece in so I think what I'm going to do is this first I'm going to flip this over and line this up I think I need another layer of fabric so I may do two all right I'm going to trim this off okay and then what I'm going to do is this piece that I just lost is sew this down on this part so I'm going to sew these together real fast I'll do a straight stitch okay straight stitch go down the edge Okay. Oop, go back here. I've got other fabric here too if I need it. But I think what I want to do is put two of these down. And then put this on top. I'll press, I'll finger press this is what we call that and press it to it. I think what I'm going to do is slide this over a little bit and stitch it together and then trim off. So I'm going to take my glue and come in here and just put some dots just to help hold this together so I don't have to use pins okay I'm planning to stitch it together so it's okay that we're using a little bit of glue to hold it down all right so I did that and then I had these other pieces of fabric I don't know I just thought maybe maybe there would be something that would be pretty on top of here I do have a couple 
of the images left. So another thing we could do is, if these are here, like this, what if we put, now these go in the same direction. Let me see what else I have left. I have these two. What do we did this? Now, this is going to come over it a little bit and it would peek out. What do you think? No, maybe we could put it on the back. We could collage them back here. These are paper, so I'm just thinking maybe put them on the back. I don't know yet. I think what I want to do first is stitch these together. I think we're okay with just stitching this together. I know I want a tie to put on here. What if we did this? I think I want to do it this way. trying to decide what I want to do. Put it on the back. Okay. So this would be the front is what I'm thinking. I finished that edge. So when I sew all the way around, we've got this part and then this would flip over this edge. And I think I'm going to do the same thing, which is fold that in to the inside. I kind of wish now I'd left a little bit more, but I think this will be okay. Just using my glue bottle to help hold it down. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. Hey, Julie, you're here. We were wondering about you, little lady. Okay, so if I put that here. I had some ribbon that I set aside, but I'm thinking now that I want this other fabric and to tear a piece. So it's just truly all kinds of different fabrics. This one is kind of repeated on the inside. Stop that. I think I want to make this a wrap. So what I'm going to do is take this piece and glue it down on this inside cover. Or I can put it on the outside, but I think I want it on the inside here. So I'm just gonna put glue down. Okay. I wanna put a pocket in the front and I'm kind of thinking maybe I can do it at the same time as we're constructing this guy. You know, I have this left over. What if I fold over this edge? Depends where I sew this. You know, if I sew it down this line here, I don't know how big that is. One, two, three, four, five, almost six inches. That would close off this pocket and I could sew it all at one time, if that makes sense. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm looking at this. 
come in just a little bit. Yeah, okay. I'm going to cut this now across here. Okay. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue down this edge. Apparently not, because I missed it completely. And then put some here. And then some right here. Okay. So, now what I'm going to do is go to the sewing machine. And we're going to stitch all the way around this piece. And then I will look at it again and glue down where I want to put these little pieces on the back. I may even use another piece of fabric. I haven't decided yet. That might look kind of pretty. It kind of blends in with this other color, doesn't it? What about if we did this one instead? Ooh, I like that a lot better. Okay, we'll leave that right there. I got that piece too. Okay, stitch in time. Can you hear me better? <laughs> oh, my camera's all jacked up. <laughs> it's facing the wrong way. All right, we're going to go to the sewing machine. We're going to do zigzag stitching all the way around. I was so in the zone, I wasn't paying attention to the camera. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to start on this edge so I can hopefully catch Ah, come on machine It started to catch on me All right, now quit that Sometimes I I get in a hurry, so I just sew too fast, and it doesn't uh, catch correctly. It gets hung up. Okay, get my little strip out of the way. Oh, I forgot to uh, fix the top of my pocket. Oh, well. We'll figure out a way. Maybe I'll add some trim to it, and that'll make it look finished. Okay. We're stitching now. Once I get it started, it goes pretty quick. You know what, I just remembered I forgot to get my elastic out. I was going to sew it into place, but I can do that in a moment when we do the little piece that we're going to sew on the back. All right, so I've got to remember to sew down the middle here. To help keep my pocket together on the inside. These were all strips that were given to me uh, from the quilting guild that I was a member of. I haven't been in for a while because of COVID. Alright, so now I need to stitch down here. And I'm doing it to kind of help hold the pieces all together in the middle of course but also it's sewing down that pocket on the other side so you can see the the pocket is sewn down on this side okay let's go back over here all right you with me so these are going in here okay and then this is going to wrap around the journal so I'm just going to loosely wrap it real fast so back here on this portion is where I was thinking 
of putting these images. So we could put one maybe at an angle right in here. So let me cut this piece of fabric and then what I'll do is I'll glue it into place and then I can stitch around it after I've got it glued into place. Where is my trimmer? There it is. All right. So we need about, well, I can't seem to get my act together here. Why isn't this looking right to me? Here we go. That's what I was doing wrong. I was like, why can't I tell how much fabric I want to cut off? Because I didn't have it positioned correctly to give me the thing I needed. Is Junkie Joe on vacation? <laughs> All right, so if I put this piece here, I think that would look kind of cute. And then maybe would this look good on that? I think it would. I've cut another lighter teal. I think this one will be better. Okay. So we're going to do the same thing. I'm going to put this right here and lay my scissors down. I mean, my ruler down. Scissors. I was looking at the scissors. I must have a divot in my mat. All right, then this will go on here. Rotate this around. I'll spin you right round, right round. Okay. There we go. Are y'all still with me? <laughs> All right, now we're going to glue this together real fast in the middle, just kind of attaching it to the fabric because we're not going to sew in the middle. We're going to sew on that outside edge. Okay, so I'm going to lay this piece kind of up here and glue that down in the middle. I'm not putting it out to the edge so that I can go straight to the sewing machine here in just a moment. And I don't have to worry about if it's on top of glue, really. There'll be a little bit where these overlap, but not too much. All right, so I'm just kind of moving the piece out of the way. I think come like that. Okay, so I need my elastic. Uh-oh. Ah, there it is. Okay, let's see if I have enough cable to get there. <laughs> I, I'm pushing, I'm pulling it. There's my elastic. Okay. I have this flat elastic that I've been needing, needing to use up. So I think what I'm going to do is basically we're going to have one... Two, I'll go ahead and put three in there. Three, yeah, that's what we'll do. All right, so I'm going to cut one. I'm going to cut them a little bit longer than necessary so that when I sew them down, I know that they're going to fit in the journal and I can cut off the excess later. All right. So I need these to be right in here in this area. So probably one right about there. I got a needle. I'm going to unwrap this. All right. So I'm going to put one really close to this stitch line, I think. I think that's what I want. Okay, yep. And then I need one beside it. Or maybe I'll just do two. I was going to do three, but I think I'm just going to do two. So I'm going to come over just a little bit. 
This one's been stuck in glue. It's sticky. Okay. So I pretty much have them marked at the top where I want them. So I'm just going to try to do my best to come down straight to the other side. And you get me another needle. And I'm stretching it just a, just a slight amount, not a whole lot, just a little bitty bit. Okay, and pin this one down. All right, so first thing I'm going to do is stitch across these very carefully with my sewing machine. And then we're going to flip it over. Oh, I can't do that yet. This one can't be there yet. All right, so I guess I'm changing my mind. I was going to do that, but I'm going to stitch around my pieces first, making sure I'm not in this one. And then we'll stitch the elastic down. <laughs> Okay. Make sure that's out of my way. I'm just going to stitch around the perimeter here. I don't know why I started in that corner. That seems silly, but whatever. I'm going to kind of raise this up a little bit. Okay, and then come over here. Sometimes I, I stitch one direction and then I'll go the other direction. It just kind of depends on what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, dear. All right, so we're going to go here. And now that'll stitch over where I stitched down there, kind of closing that off. Okay. I know I got to put the presser foot down, but I wanted to make sure that I wasn't stitching over this stuff. <laughs> okay. I'll clean up some threads here in a moment. Pop the covers in. Are the journals in the cover? I mean, I can't get my words out. All right. Whew, got that part done. Okay. So first, I want to come up here. I'm going to stitch across where I've got these pins. So I'm going to put my needle down. I'm going to pull up on the elastic a little bit and then we're going to stitch over it. And I'm going to go back. Had I been smart, I could have done it at the beginning, but you know, we, we got to do things differently. <laughs> All right. So again, I'm going to come over here, get that pulled up out of the way. And then we're going to stitch over it. That ah, stay into there. Don't sew over your fingers. Okay. Okay, got that side. So now what I need to do is get this down here and pin it in place. I'm going to move this one out of the way for a moment. I think my elastic twisted, so I'm trying to smooth it back out. Here we go. And I'm going to tighten it up just a little bit and then stitch over this. And 
cut the thread, go over to this one, makes it so much easier when the elastic is longer. Okay, we're back. Crafty money is always good. Well, yeah, we like crafting money. Take the pins out. Move this out of the way. And we'll cut off the excess here. And here. Okay. And I think I saw some trim here a minute ago. Only because I saw it, I thought I might use it. What if we put this little piece of trim down this edge? I don't know. It's just kind of pretty little trim. We're going to use it. I'm trying to use it up. Okay, let's put a little bit of glue right here. And then I got to put the journals in the cover. All right, are we ready for this, y'all? Are y'all ready for me to do the last raffle? If you haven't already entered the raffle for the tiny postcard rubber stamp, we'll get her done. We're going to draw here in just a moment. Trim this off. All right. The glue is going to take it a moment to dry. I was going to glue some trim on the pocket on the inside, so I'll do it after the live stream because I want to get this done, if you will. I don't think the journal will fit. Will it? Oh, it does. Okay, cool. Well, I'll take it out of the cellophane. I, I had this sparkly blue journal, and I thought it would be kind of fun to put in here. Now, I haven't decorated it, so I may decorate that after the live. I haven't signed these yet, so let's do that real fast. I will stamp each one. Okay. I'll just put it up here. This journal made by. Put it on this one. There. Perfect fit. You like that? Worked out perfect. And this is 9 12 of 22. Nine twelve twenty-two. 12 22. Okay. So this journal will go into this elastic and this journal will go into this elastic and then you can wrap it shut. I've got more um, than I need here, but we're going to go around twice and I think I'm going to cut it off right about here and you can take this piece and tuck it underneath like so and then this flips over so you can see the back side that's got a little little something on it okay you made it but you're gonna save it oh my goodness got there thank you so much cricket Thank you, Janice. Thank you, Robin. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Ada. All right, so the last raffle for the tiny library card. Are y'all ready? Because we're out of time. I've kept y'all here forever. Yep, a cover for a box. Yeah, for sure, for sure, exactly. All right, let's pick a winner of the rubber stamp, and the winner is Ada, congratulations, Ada. You won the tiny postcard rubber stamp. All right, so I believe we made it to our journal raffle that we got enough donations. I'm just assuming. I want to confirm with Robin before I start the last raffle. 
So I'm going to get that ready to go. Delete that. All right, I'm going to walk here and clean my hands off real fast. Where's my water? Clean my hands off. Well, did y'all enjoy today's session? Did y'all get inspired to use some of your stuff? I feel like my camera is not at the right height. I think I've moved something. I need to fix it. Okay. You just use one like before you order again. <laughs> gotcha. You're very welcome. Yay. All right. I don't see Robin yet. Did Robin get the notes taken? We went above the journal goal. Thank you, everybody. All right, we're going to get started. Open giveaway. So if you donated, that would be Terry, Rhonda, Ada, Barb, Janice, Morgan, Suzanne, Cricket, Manda, Jennifer, Robin, and Margie. Y'all can enter the raffle for the last journal. Remember, when you make a donation, you actually get a membership on my website. So make sure you go to lindaisrael.com if you haven't already and create a user account. And then send me a message that says, hey, I'm so-and-so on YouTube. I donated, so I get you added to the YouTube donator membership on my website. And then you get discounts in my shop as well as some free digital downloads and during the live that you donate you get a chance to win the journal that I made all right so here's the journal it is a soft fabric cover and in the front pocket here is a journal that is a ready-made sparkly journal I may decorate this later but I ran out of time today so I'm just gonna pop it into that front pocket and I made this a Midori style journal because I don't know I like them and they're easier to write in if you can make the pages lay a little flatter than you do inside the journal the first journal is actually a planner journal uh, cover and then there's some planner pages and then there's the regular journal kit so there's two three different kits I think maybe four that I used that were blue bonnets you can set the uh, the the description box below for links to calico collage yeah if you haven't done that cricket i i know i added some people the other day so you make sure you you log in and you say hey linda i'm so and so and i need to get that fixed up and i'll do it so this is from the planner kit this is from her regular kit inside the pages that are printed I also printed some additional pages and made them smaller. They're eight and a half or eight by ten. Sorry. This is the rose stencil. This was part of the Enchanted Rose kit, I believe. And I sold out of that kit. People wanted the stencil, so that is now available in my shop. And this is the full month planner page. And then this is one of those tear off little notepads that had little planner on one side and these little frames on the other this is composition notebook paper there is a tuck spot here this is a flimsy paper but you could still put something on there and this is where you can see that blue bell poking through the spine and then again here is another one of these little pages inside this is the baroque stencil i use distress oxide blueprint sketch Oh, no, this is just a journal, Julie. The next sub box is going to be Christmas. This was just using Norella's kits and my stash to make a journal. Another planner page, scrapbook paper. I didn't do anything to the backside. No, this is a junior legal notepad. I stamped here and here, added some cheesecloth over Let's, under Let's Adventure. On this side, I just layered by tearing one of Norella's pages, and I added a little tear off notepad page that says to do list these are rubber stamps this is the berry and leaves stamps thank you Julie uh, here is another tuck spot that is part of this little um, cluster that I made <laughs> last week during the live stream 
from Norella's kit. This is the spinning flower stencil with the Distress Oxide Blue Pit Scratch. This is the Swirls Border. I just thought it would be kind of neat to look there. Uh, another one of the pages here. That was the Little Daisy stencil. And last week we made this page. This was a ledger paper that was given to me. And I made a little pocket, and then this was some cardstock that I collaged a scrap of one of my stencils that Norella turned into some digital papers, one of Norella's images, and then the rubber stamp journal. And this is another one of Norella's images on a journaling card. I didn't put a bunch of journaling cards in here as I did the whole insert, I guess you could say. I mean, this is more of text weight paper, but... I guess you could call that a journaling card. I was trying to use up some of the scrapbook paper. I didn't put anything on these two pages, so we'll just leave them for now. And this is some more of that junior notebook paper. This was some scrapbook paper that I had left over, so I just cut it into strips. And it just works out that it almost looks like an inch. It's not quite. And then we flip this over. This is a pocket, a clear pocket that has a mini journal inside of it. I don't know, I hope you liked what I did. This this was a lot of fun to put together. Little collage here. And then we flip this over. And we just kind of go back the other direction. This is also another little journal card in here with one of Norella's images. And I just put on this day. And it's a little tight. I'm just gonna leave it here for now to get back in there to-do list. These are rubber stamps in the background and stenciling. That's from last week. And then here I just took some scrapbook paper and folded it and stuck it in here so it didn't get decorated but it got in the journal. And it just got twisted. There we go. Uh, here's some more scrapbook paper that was a scrap that I stamped on. You love it? You love the clear pocket? Thank you. That was fun, wasn't it? I like that pocket. Um, this was some scrap of paper that I stamped. Some more trim that I put on here. Focus on the good. A little some bling. Uh, another tuck spot there. Like that. Stamping. Another scrap of paper here. That folds out just like the others. I know we need to get off here. So y'all get entered on the raffle. The other half of that calendar. Some more scrap of paper. In the back cover of the first journal. So I will pop this back in the elastic. And then this is pretty much the same concept. You know, like here is scrapbook paper, one of the pages. This is one of the planner pages, scrapbook paper, stencil paper, another scrapbook paper in there, scrapbook paper, stamped page. This comes out. This was, I forgot to mention it, it was a paper stack that I cut up. So you've got a little, you can see the seam here from the kit, scrapbook paper, another journal card, the little bit different images, but it's all from the same kit. Same with the pocket. This page, it got decorated, added the paper, uh, the uh, music sheet, added the handmade paper, little collage. Try to add bling throughout. Here's another pocket, the clear pocket with the journal in it. I just thought, you know, you work so hard to make one of these little mini journals that, you know, you want to see it. So the clear pocket was what I thought of. I thought, I thought I was clever. Another one of the handmade paper. And this is like a little pocket and then I added one of Norella's images onto a piece of cardstock that fits down in there. And then this is an altered paper clip that we made over the tag that I made last week. So these hold it together on our page. Put it back on here. Another journal card there. Another little page here. Thank you so much, Julie. 
Thank you so much. Another scrapbook paper that I stamped. Okay. Lots of goo gaws, lots of pages, lots of writing space in this one for sure. More there. And then the back cover. And then this wraps around. Like so. You like it, you love it, you want more of it. <laughs> well, okay, let's pick the winner, I guess. If there's no more questions, let me know. Uh, thank you. I, I, I was lucky to find scrapbook paper that I thought, well, this goes. It's all blues, you know. I just kept digging, 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 digging. Thank you so much, Giovanna. Thank you, Julie. All right, so let's see. We had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve people. Okay, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. All right, we have everybody in the raffle. Yeah, it's really pretty, isn't it, Cricut? I, I really love how it turned out. All right, the winner of this journal today is... Da, 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 Barb Dingwell. Congratulations, Barb. She was the one that wanted me to make this journal. So I'm glad you won it. I hope it brings you joy when you receive it in your order that she just placed. I got to make her rubber stamp. So that's funny how that worked out. Woot, woot. <laughs> All right. Well, if I get time this week, I will be working on another journal. I may do some gel printing instead. It just kind of depends upon uh, what time I get to spend in the studio to prep for a next live next street next week. I can't even talk. You asked for it, so you got it. That's awesome, Barb. Yay, Barb. Congratulations. All righty. Well, I'm going to get off here because Henry should be home shortly, and I need to... Go for a walk for a minute, <laughs> stretch my legs, if you will, and let Hercules out, and then we'll get ready for dinner. I greatly appreciate y'all taking the time to hang out with me here today. I hope you enjoyed seeing this journal, and I hope that you are inspired to get out your supplies and create. All right, well, I'm going to get off here. Hercules is barking because I think Henry's home. Y'all have a fabulous week. We'll see you next week. Lots of love to everybody. Bye, everybody.